Hello, ye developers. Welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to create a model pop-up. Uh, for a model pop-up is like in Bootstrap, you have these pop-up models. Uh, I have this lesson on Bootstrap. Uh, I will add the link in the comments uh, in the description section so that you can view that if you haven't already. So in Bootstrap, you have this model uh, model window that you can show. So what in this lesson I'm going to do is since right now when we click on the create branches button it navigates to a different page and shows the pay, uh, create page there. So what I'm going to do is I mean I click on this button I'm going to show a pop-up window a pop-up window with the form of with the elements. I think that will be a better design uh, for the application so I mean uh, without going I mean redirecting him back to another another uh, another view so let's start so I'm going to use the model uh, in bootstrap uh, let me go check that out get bootstrap and there is this component called model I think um, navigation business number one hmm where is it okay I can't seem to find it but I have this lesson on YouTube uh, in my channel so there's something called in this bootstrap lesson series you have this model pop-up window so check that out before you view this uh, so let's start uh, so first thing we have to do is we have to add uh, the model window so we have to use something we have this we can use uh, ye bootstrap model there's this class that we can use to do this uh, as, as as you all know ye is developed with the boots with bootstrap framework so I mean developed with the styling done by the bootstrap framework so it has lot indicated a lot of its components to the EA framework as well so that we can take easy take use of it so I'm gonna copy this code from some uh, that I have written it before not long code so I will explain the code as I go along so we are going to start we are going to make the model begin it has a header and we are going to give the name as create or branches we are giving the header name is branches and the id is model and we, we can give the option of model lg which is a large model it's not a, we have some options here we can give sm and some options like that we so it will determine the size of the model so the next thing is we have to do is we have to change this anchor tag right now this is an anchor tag that you click on uh, we have to change that to a button and give it a value attribute value so to do this uh, not that difficult button the name of the button and here we have to give uh, we have to give the value value is we are going to give it a URL to uh, it's index.php r equals branches and create of course that is the that is the value and next what we have to do is we have to give it an ID of a model button let's give it ID of model button okay so that is that uh, first next thing we have to do is actually we are not using this URL class so let's use that use the helpers and URL and let's save and check it out okay so we have now created this button uh, let's inspect and check the value that we have given yeah the value is also there now what we have to do is actually uh, write the JavaScript uh, actually the J uh, JavaScript in order to uh, get this click event and load the model that we want to show uh, so for, uh, for that I'm going to teach you I'm, I'm going to tell you how to add a separate CSS uh, JavaScript class to our application so go to the assets section and go to app assets 
here we have this public js array to this js array add js and let's give it main.js for now so we have to create a folder called new folder called js and inside that js we want to create a new file called save it as main main.js okay um, yeah so now let's check it out whether it's all working uh, so function where when everything is ready alert and tell me whether it's working and let's refresh yeah it's working uh, now all we have to do is get the click event from here and show the model window uh, that of course also I have written this JS before I will copy and let you know it's not a difficult JS code uh, so let's write a comment get the click event of the create button and do the below so model button is the particular ID of this button we are going to click get that and we are going to show the model which is this as you can see the model is id and we are showing that model show and we are going to find the model content here is the model content id model content id and we are going to find that and we are going to load the information that is in this particular value attribute okay so uh, we are going to go to this link and we are going to get the we are going to load that html elements into this model content div okay let's check it out and see what goes wrong or whether it will work perfectly it works perfectly with some issues as you can see the model this company gets loaded and all of this gets loaded that's because we are rendering it the whole thing to change that let's go to controllers uh, branches controller and let's go to the action create and do a render Ajax and let's try it again now there you go amazing right uh, it's really easy to do there is no issue I mean whatsoever it took only five I don't know how many minutes it took but there you go we have a model pop-up which can close which you can actually do anything with it so I think that's a better design without sending them back to a create uh, view file yeah so stay tuned for more uh, and please subscribe and share my tutorials and like comment and thank you for watching have a good day take care bye